Hello guys, Leafy Frog 12 here. We're back again with another part of the Thomas Was Not Alone campaign walkthrough. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess let's get back to it. I'm just wondering what that cloud sync was. You can get high scores in this game. Let's see if we need for leader. So, this was how Claire would die. Oh no. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping. And she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. No. Wait. What? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. <laughs> it was at that moment that Claire realised... She had superpowers. Whoa. That's cool. I turn on my TV a little bit. It's a little loud. All right. Cool, cool, cool. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. I'm a genius. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. Oh, and, what a you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Look at Chris, come on, man, you're lacking. She, she's fat too, but she can float on water. What you doing, Chris? Ah, oh, we don't get Chris yet. Oh, yeah, we do. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. And you get out the Thomas Kitchen a free ride. Right in the center. You there. And then I go out over here. Voila! I did it. I'm a genius. These aren't that hard to figure out, but I mean, I'm a genius still. Deal with it. I'm not rubbish. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Whoa, what the? Oh. Snap, it's filling up. I'll save you. Huh, that's pretty cool tech that you gotta use this thing as a moving platform. Huh? That's pretty cool. As the water began to it. rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Don't please don't kill Thomas Snow. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good No, sidekick. no frick. Or that's I get. more the lone Avenger type. Yeah, she ah. Try and go for that black Claire square. arrived just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on, get up there. There we go. Let's press this button. Oh yeah, just in case you know, like I don't talk about what happened in the previous upload. I don't know when I upload these. I upload all this stuff at random points. Like, I mean, it's because what it is, I don't want to upload the same stuff over and over and over and over. So you just have one string of road to a bomb defense. As the water began to string, rise, Claire vowed to of, save this little rectangle uh, in camps. as many restarts as it took. I try to change it, it up. That's why you see me, like, doing random episodes at random times. Like, I do all the Modern Warfare, Warfare 2 campaign walkthroughs at random Claire times. Claire wondered I do all that if Thomas stuff. would make a good sidekick. Uh, yeah. So Ooh. that's why. So well, if I don't talk the about the last Avenger part, the last type. part I did was like a week ago, but you probably like see that. it posted the sole some hero other in a time. world of rectangles and conveniently placed what pools the, of toxic what the water. Poop? Seriously? Oh my god, I was talking the whole time, I wasn't even paying attention. Come on. Wow, I did that whole Claire time. arrived <laughs> just in time. Why is my TV Which so was, of course, still? the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive.
get you right here. Take a jump with people on the back. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to uh, save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Yeah. Sounds like a backbeat. Claire wondered song. if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Uh, uh, was she yeah. more the lone Avenger type? What? She'd like we, that. We whack. Yeah. The sole hero in a world uh. of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop jumping. Jesus. I almost failed there because of freaking Claire bouncing around. Jesus, Claire. Alright, let's do this. Oh god, Chris. Oh, no. Get off me. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Move you over, Chris over, John. Yeah, I memorized names pretty well. Throw you down there. Move, move, move. You can make it. Ah, oh, I just got squished. All right, John. Let's get you over here. Wait a minute. No, we gotta get this fool over here. Player. I guess you can stay. Get you. Eh. Eh. Oh, Jesus, I almost failed. Yay! Only took me 50 tries. Oh, wait, that was the other one. Never mind. <laughs> Lol. Alright. Claire probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. <sighs> yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Christopher. Oh, I guess we gotta go with Chris as one of you. Uh, yep. Uh, it's not gonna work, is it? Right, let's put you back over there. Alright, so I guess you gotta press this button over here. Lower some of the water down. Alright, let's pile everyone on. Boop. Boop. And then, John, don't die, please. Thank you. You, f you figulas! You freaking suck! No! I should have known that was gonna happen. Noon. I should have known that was gonna happen. That freaking Claire can jump higher than you. She's like ten times heavier than bigger than you. could have did the first time freaking they jumped and it flew off <laughs> oh that was pathetic <laughs> all right where's chris gone yeah where did he go was he off somewhere plotting claire's what downfall the what the crap if claire was honest and she had to be because she was a superhero this was a troubling turn of events still there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross 
Okay, same one like last time. Or a different level, I don't know which one. I, yeah, it was with, I did carry him around with John instead of, except you can die if you fall in the water. Alright, even Epicator was talking about how weird it was to have that little commentary thing over the people playing, which is pretty weird. We. Let's get John over there. Ah, oh, crap. I have to change over again. And voila. Easy. All right. Going pretty Moving through platforms here. Over oh, I didn't water pass aid. chapter two already. I wasn't paying attention Claire's to the numbers. Newly heightened senses okay, good. <laughs> told her that there were multiple died, paths moved. across with oh, Jesus. various possible configurations of the little posse. Do you really need Claire in this situation then? We like Claire do all the work. That splash though. They were doing really you suck. well. Suck. You guys both Claire suck. You do this every time. Across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Yeah, John can make it across with one jump every time. This guy and girl. Is Claire a girl? No, you son of a... Ah. Alright, there. John and Thomas. Oh. Man, that one pissed me off because they freaking fell off again. You guys gotta stop going that boiling hot water. Not go for you. Two point nine. Up, oh, just me alone. Oh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to just jump across? Wow, I'm an idiot. Claire was alone. Oh which god. Was odd because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Being the only <sighs> superhero in a given they had, space like, the kinda defeats to... the object. No mother... spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided. They were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. <laughs> red stuff. Do this. Uh, genius. That first try. I mean, first try on the thing. I mean, not the spike. Uh, <laughs> first try on the drop. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, man. Same exact level. Oh wait, I can't jump, can I? With that thing's out. Wow. Deja vu. Yeah. The world was repeating. And this time Thomas was here. Wow. Claire felt something uh -oh. had gone wrong. Don't tell me to do every single there was thing. a disturbance in the force. Alright, so I gotta do this one. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. Wow. It was plotting against them. Mother. Claire. Finally had a nemesis. No, no, frick! Don't you dare come down. You suck. Yes. Alright. You have to kill Thomas. Sorry, Thomas. I have to get you out of the way. I was wondering what was weird why they had this little thing here.
Yalla! Look at that, Chris. He could jump over Thomas. I mean, I know you can too, but barely. See how big she is? Baby, got back, 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 back. I think that is it, 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 it. If anybody wants me to make me some thumbnails for this campaign walkthrough, I appreciate it because, like, I'm too lazy to make my own things, but I'm eventually gonna have to make it sometime. All right, that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed part number two of the campaign walkthrough. I appreciate it. Uh, you appreciate you watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and stay froggy. Come back for the next part of Thomas was not alone. Part number three.